Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, we have some big news coming from Norwegian Cruise Line as they are set to expand in a large, large way. We also have an update on the gentleman who went missing in Cozumel, the father and husband uh, who has dementia. We'll have an update on that story. And we also have a story about a cabin steward walking in on people in their cabin, even though they had the do not disturb sign up. And I, I got some reasonings why that may happen to you, even if you have that sign on your door. Today's video is brought to you by Babbel. Babbel is one of the leading language learning apps in the world and can have you on your way to learning a new language in a matter of weeks. Let's face it, when you travel to different countries, it really comes in handy knowing even the basics of other languages. For instance, in Spanish, if I was to say to you, me puedes ayudar, that means, can you help me? Something that could come in very handy. In French, you could always say, Bonjour, comment ça va? D'où venez-vous? That means, hello, how are you, and where are you from? A great way to open meeting a new person. And Babbel helps you learn these skills through real conversations. I chose Babbel for a multiple of reasons, some of them being, for instance, you get a 20-day money-back guarantee. I also like the variety of ways to learn, everything from flashcards to stories to podcasts to interviews. You can learn in a different variety of ways, whatever suits you best. One of the things is I like to check my pronunciation. I often mispronounce words, even in my own language of English. And this also helps me. It's one of my favorite things. For instance, this one here, I'm supposed to start speaking. Hasta pronto. Hasta pronto. And I got it right. Hasta pronto. And then I continue on to next. Buenas tardes. I can continue on and on and practice my vocabulary and my pronunciation of the languages I'm trying to learn. If you've been following my adventures, you know when I was in Brazil, I ended up being in Brazil and nobody spoke English, but I had enough Spanish and there was one person at the airport who knew Spanish and we were able to communicate enough to get me to, to the correct flight on time. And I thank that all to Babbel. So if you'd like to learn a new language, maybe to speak with a relative, meet new friends, or just enrich your mind, why not follow my link down below and you can get up to 60% off your subscription. Thanks again to Babbel for sponsoring this video. So just recently, Norwegian Cruise Line announced that their area, their private island in Great Stirrup Key, well, they're going to be building a brand new pier starting this summer and being completed by 2025. They're saying that this will be a big convenience for their passengers. Yes, having a dock as opposed to having a tender would be so much better for your, for your cruise passengers. Not only that, they're saying it will increase the capacity by 50% to how many people they can get on the island and they're planning expansion there as well. Speaking of expansion, they've also ordered eight new ships, their largest order in the history of the company. And it's gonna be spread out among their three ship lines. They're gonna do uh, two ships with Oceana, two ships with Region 7 Seas, and then four ships with Norwegian Cruise Line. And the first one will be ready by 2026 and the final one will be delivered around 2035. They say this is gonna be a very large gr growth of about six to 8% in the first four years, once the first ship comes in line. And then after that, it will be about a 4% increase each year all the way up to 2035. And again, they, they say that this is all because of cruise demand. Let's hope the cruise demand doesn't slow down when you put billions and billions and billions of dollars into building new ships, as all the cruise lines seem to be jumping and doing that right now with Carnival ordering another two ships and Royal Caribbean or having more icon class ships coming and then talking about building a new class of ship as well, a slightly smaller version. 
it's uh, it's incredible how many new ships are currently on the order block right now. Next, we have an update on that gentleman who went missing in Cozumel. He uh, the, he still hasn't been found. Uh, he has a form of dementia with hard communication skills, but he did manage to talk to a taxi driver and get a ride to a beach. Even though he had no money, he swapped his wristwatch for it. No telling where he is right now. Police are searching everywhere, talking to everybody they can. Uh, cruise lines have been asked to keep an eye out for people, and uh, we've been asked to share his photo online to anybody who's visiting Cozumel on cruise ships. If you can keep an eye out for this gentleman, if you think you recognize him, please contact the authorities. There's usually always an officer somewhere nearby that you could reach out to, or even walk into a shop and say, I think I saw a, a, a missing person. Can you please contact the police? And they will come and see you there. We're just keeping out for fellow cruisers in the community. They're searching everywhere, even the woods, and I'm hoping that this gentleman can be found because the alternative is uh, not a great outcome and a great situation at all. So uh, thoughts and prayers to the family out there that this goes well for them. Next, I have that story about passengers on a carnival cruise ship. They had their do not disturb sign out and the room steward still walked in on them. And how is that possible? But before I get there, let me just invite you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. If you wanna keep up to date with everything going on in cruising, from the good stories, the bad stories, we'll cover it all and try and keep it as lighthearted as possible. But the idea is to keep you as best informed as possible about your next upcoming cruise or possible cruise you're thinking of, and maybe make it just a little bit easier and a little more fun on your next trip. Hope you'll join us. It really does help the channel out and I really do appreciate it. Okay, recently on a John Hill Facebook page, a lady complained that they had the snoozing button, which is basically a disturb, do not disturb sign on your door and the room steward still walked in and claim that, hey, what's going on? That should not happen. I have the do not disturb. Why are you walking into my cabin? And a lot of people immediately say, yeah, that's not right. How can that happen? Pay attention. Did they, did, what, what are they trying to do? Walk in on somebody changing or something or coming out of the shower? And no, that's not the reason. I've had this happen to myself as well. And one of the reasons is if you keep your do not disturb sign on, for more than 24 hours, the cruise line wants to make sure you're okay. They want to make sure that you're not missing, that you haven't gone overboard, that you aren't injured in some way in your cabin, that you aren't sick, that you didn't have a stroke, that you didn't have a heart, various, various reasons to check in on a passenger. So after 24 hours, they will come to your door. They will knock. If you do not respond, then they will enter just to make sure you're okay. And if it happens for too long, the security team will be notified to search for you and people will look for you on the cruise ship. Like I said, just in case, maybe you went overboard and nobody, nobody paid it, no, noticed, you know, at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. if it, the cameras didn't happen to pick you up. That's why they would come in. I've had it happen to me. I tend to work a lot on cruise ships. So sometimes because I'm working and I have some information out there, my computer's there and everything, if I don't put my computer away and hide it and it's sitting on my desk, I put the do not disturb sign on so people don't come in and maybe, you know, take my computer or have access to my room or things, anything like that. Now, all my stuff is obviously password protected and encrypted, et cetera. However, I just, I just don't take a chance. But that would, they, they have often come to knock on my door and I answer the door and yes, it's because they're just checking that we're okay. And I think I'm still okay with that situation. I'm wondering, are you? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you excited about Norwegian building eight new ships? And what do you think? Do you think, yes, that's a good idea that they check and knock and if you don't respond that you're in the room, that's why they're entering the room. And apparently that's exactly the situation that happened 
on the Carnival cruise ship. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.